Hello, it's Jo here from jojoevy.com and I'm super excited today because, ta yes, I've got a big box. So, um, for those who don't know, the earlier part of this year, I've been really struggling with a, a shoulder back arm issue and it got to the point where I couldn't work. And that's a big problem because all my work is online, so I need to be at the computer. And I just, I couldn't move my arm. It was so painful sitting at the desk that I, I just couldn't do anything. So luckily my business is set up in a way that I can take time off, um, that I have a lot of passive income coming in. So although it was a problem that I couldn't work, it wasn't, you know, if I was a service provider and I was having to deliver work for people, then that would have been a bigger problem. Anyway, as part of my research on how to fix myself, um, I did several things which involved having injection into my neck, which was not pleasant. And the doctors recommended going back and having that done every few weeks for like ever. And I was like, well, this is not, this is not a solution. This is a band-aid. And then one of my Wonder Mom guest experts, I was chatting to her and it turns out her husband is a, a physiotherapist and his speciality is, is backs. So I hopped on Zoom, had a chat with him and he basically fixed me. So I will drop his link below as well because he can do uh, virtual sessions. He is Japanese, but he speaks great English and yet yeah, Working with him was amazing because, look, I can lift my arm, I can do things again. I also know how to um, implement the, the stretches and things that he taught me that's going to help me moving forward so I don't get the issue again. The other thing I was looking at was the chair. So I sit cross-legged. I, I very rarely sit on a chair in the, the proper way. And I really struggle with that issue of like sitting properly on a chair because I prefer to sit either with one leg under me or cross-legged or like I, I just don't sit like, like normal people or how you're supposed to use a chair. And this was something that I really enjoyed when I was learning about Montessori was the fact that kids are allowed to sit on the floor. They're allowed to work on the floor. And that really appealed to me, being the kid that never enjoyed sitting on a chair, or like sitting on a chair in the proper way. So from that, you know, I was thinking, why, why do we have to sit in a chair this way? Who came up with this daft idea? Because if you think about it, in the long run, we've like spent up until, I don't know, whenever chairs were invented, the 16th century or something. Until then, we sat on the floor a lot of the time. And in Asian countries, they still sit on the floor a lot of the time. So why do we need to be sat in the way that we've been told we have to sit? So with that in mind, that took me on a search onto the internet to find something I could use at the office desk without having it to be a traditional ergonomic chair. And by the way, people who design office chairs, get on it. They're all really ugly. Not only, you know, maybe they're ergonomic, maybe they're good for your back, but they're, God, they're so ugly. Anyway, that's a rant for another day. This led me to finding the Piper Song chair, which is what is in the box. And so I'm going to unbox it and uh, share with you the excitement as I do it. Knife at the ready, let's go.
as you can see, this oh, this is my normal setup. My trusty chair, of the dining room chair that's a bit wobbly and not so comfortable. And the desk. So let's try the new chair and let's hope that it fits. So can I move you over here? You can see. Okay. Yes. I'm happy. Okay, what a ooh. So what I'll do is try it out for a couple of weeks and um, see how I like it. Like I've got a really small space, so I was worried about oh, trying to hold the video. Um, I was worried about the width and being able to turn the bottom piece around. But I think once I get the hang of it, it'll be okay. And it does allow me to get further under the desk than the actual chair did because the chair's not got wheels. And having adjustable height will also help, especially with my shoulder problem. So I will report back in a couple of weeks once I've tested it and uh, tried it out for a while and let you know how I get on. Okay, so I am back after using the uh, Piper Song chair for about three weeks now. And I have to say, I am smitten. I love the chair. So it's a bit difficult for me to show you the chair in use because my desk area is so small um, but it does allow me to move around as you can see which I couldn't do before and my chair before didn't have wheels either and it does let me get right under the desk which I couldn't do before either which is great and I found that it's really helped with my posture um, I'm sitting much better and um, because the height of the seat is adjustable, I can get it to the right height for me to use my mouse in, in a comfortable position. And um, yeah, I really enjoy the fact that I can change positions and so many different positions. I like to sit cross-legged, but I have also found I like sitting kind of like I'm kneeling with my legs tucked behind me which is not a position that I could do on a chair easily, uh, but this way I can. And I'm finding that really comfortable too. I don't tend to use the backrest much unless I'm on a Zoom call and just chatting, but if I'm actually working at the computer, I tend not to use it. Um, the backrest is quite low, so if you are a big backrest person, that might be an issue. But for me, um, it's fine. It's enough for me to have it there when I'm chatting, but it's not in the way um, when I'm working normally. And that was one of the things I didn't like about most of the office chairs that I saw was that they had armrests. And even if they moved up, they still tended to be in the way a bit. So this way I can you know, move around and nothing is getting in my way. And what else? I don't know what else I can tell you. I just love it. It's so comfy and the other thing I found is that I don't end up stuck in one position for a long time which is obviously not good for you and even though my physiotherapist is always saying like you should be moving your body you know sometimes you know I'm in the middle of work and I get into a flow and I just don't want to move away from the computer but I find that, you know, because it spins and the bottom spins and I can move around, that even if I'm not actually getting up, I am moving a lot more. And so that is great as well. So, yeah, if you're looking for a chair that isn't a regular chair, if you're not a person who sits on a chair in a regular way, then, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's really comfortable. Um, find the seating, it's padded well enough, um, it is made of leather so it's easy to clean and yes, I just love it. Um, I imagine that if you've got more space it would be easier to move uh, the 
nearly bit, I don't know if it's got a technical name, um, around easier. But I've got a pillar here and the wall here, so my area is very restricted. But that doesn't matter for me because I can get in and out and do everything that I need to do. And yes, it works perfectly. So I hope this helps. Um, if you've got any questions, you know, just drop me a line. I'm happy to answer them. I do have an affiliate link. Um, I'm only an affiliate for things that I love and Piper Song Chair is one of those things. And if you want to find out more about me, if you've just stumbled about this and watched the review because you're interested in the chair, you can find me at jojoebby.com and I'll include everything um, in the comments or the description. All right, I hope this helps you and if you get the chair, let me know because, you know, we can compare notes and things then. All right, take care. Have a great week.